Hi, today I'd like to show you how to make a starch paste for bookbinding in a microwave. We will need a microwave safe bowl, some starch, water, a plate to pour cooked starch into and to put it in, in, the, in the fridge for cooling, and some sort of gauze or mesh to rinse starch paste after it's cooled down. So let's go to the kitchen. Usually you take 4 to 8 parts of water for 1 part of starch. It depends on atmospheric conditions and other things like how thick you want your paste to be. First thing, take 1 part of water and 1 part of starch and stir the mixtures thoroughly. Then add all the rest parts of water and once again stir it until there is no powder left and the solution looks nice and smooth. It takes several turns in microwave to prepare the starch paste. Depending on the initial proportions of the solution, you may start with 30 second rounds or 1 minute rounds. If you use more water, you may leave the bowl for more time in the microwave. After every turn, check the mix and stir it once again thoroughly. After second or third turn, the mix will start to thicken. You should continue to heat it in the microwave, but you should watch the mix closely, because at some point it will start to boil over. When it takes only a few seconds for the mix to start boiling over, it means that your starch paste is ready. The other mark of readiness of the starch paste is that it should change how it looks. From that milky sort of uh, mix it should turn in that glossy gel-like substance. Pour the starch paste in the plate, put it to the fridge to cool for 30 minutes or an hour. When the paste has cooled down, you can strain it with a mesh and start using it. To make it last a bit longer, you can add just a bit of clove oil into the mix. You should keep in mind that the starch paste should be used right after it was prepared or maybe next morning, but pretty soon it will start to spoil. Usually in bookbinding tutorials you will find mentions of rice starch paste or potato starch paste. For my experiments I've used uh, potato starch paste along with uh, uh, corn starch paste and even tapioca starch paste. I cannot say that I have found any major difference between these three types of starch paste. However, there were some uh, differences and I will cover them in my next video. Maybe the choice of starch is important for archival projects, however, I don't have experience with that and uh, if you have any ideas or advice on that matter, uh, please share your opinion in the comments. Please check our other videos, support us at Patreon, and thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.